If you've been keeping up with recent events, you're likely aware of France's dwindling popularity across the African continent. The historically strong bond between Africa and France has hit a new low in their diplomatic connections. The rise of anti-French sentiment, especially in former colonies like Burkina Faso, Niger, and Mali, has strained their close partnership. These three ex-French colonies recently experienced coups, and all have made clear demands for France to exit their nations. In each coup, protesters have carried banners with slogans such as Death to France and France, Leave Our Country Now, often alongside Russian and Chinese flags. This significant shift raises the question of how relations between Africa and France, once marked by cooperation, have deteriorated to this degree. In this video, we'll explore the reasons behind Africa and France's strained relationship. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more exciting content in the future. To understand why France and African nations have experienced a deteriorating relationship, we must delve into their shared history, rooted in colonialism and the subsequent quest for independence. This complex historical context has set the stage for the strained ties we witness today. Colonialism left a profound impact on African nations, with deep scars stemming from economic exploitation and cultural upheaval. France, in particular, established a network of colonies across Africa, notably in West Africa, during the 18th and 19th centuries. These colonies served as sources of wealth through the extraction of natural resources and instruments for projecting power and influence. The emergence of African nationalism and the fervent struggle for independence marked a pivotal moment. African nations embarked on their path to sovereignty, facing numerous challenges, including political instability, economic dependence, and the complex task of shaping their identities amid the remnants of colonial control. This period marked the beginning of diplomatic relations between newly independent African nations and France, with a blend of hope for renewed partnerships and concerns about the enduring traces of colonialism in their interactions. It's essential to acknowledge that France was not the sole colonizer of Africa. Other nations such as Britain, Belgium, Italy, Germany, and Portugal also played roles in colonization. Nevertheless, France continues to exert more influence in its former colonies than any of its colonial peers. It maintains military bases in these nations, and its military has frequently intervened in their affairs. France's involvement in African matters has been recorded over 50 times since the countries gained independence in the 1960s. Beyond military and political dominance, France maintains economic leverage, notably through the CFA franc, the currency used in several former colonies. The CFA franc is tied to the euro and mandates member countries to deposit a portion of their reserves with the French government, a practice criticized as financial neocolonialism by some. However, despite this colonial backdrop, the recent strain in relations between France and Africa is a relatively recent development. As recently as the early 2010s, France still enjoyed considerable goodwill and friendships across the African continent. So, what has changed? The deterioration of France's relations with Africa can be attributed in part to its security challenges within the continent, particularly concerning the rise of jihadist groups in the Sahel region. Despite deploying French military forces and initiatives like Operation Barking, which concluded in 2022, the persistent presence of these jihadist groups and ongoing political instability highlight the limitations of these efforts. This situation has contributed to the rise of military-led governments in countries like Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. These newly established governments argue that only a military-led approach can effectively counter the jihadist threat, citing the perceived failures of French troops. Consequently, these nations have reportedly explored unconventional security alternatives, such as engaging with groups like the Wagner Group. Their stance that they will address the security challenge independently reflects the sentiment that if France's interventions have proven inadequate, these nations must take matters into their own hands, prompting France to reconsider its continued presence on their soil. The declining economic ties between Africa and France have also played a pivotal role in their strained relations. African leaders face reduced pressure to prioritize close economic connections with Western nations like France, reshaping the dynamics of their engagement. 
This shift has led to a significant decline in France's trade with its former African colonies, primarily attributed to the growing influence of emerging middle powers like India, Brazil, and China, which have increased their diplomatic and economic involvement on the continent. This transition has made Africa less economically reliant on France and more capable of diversifying its partnerships. A notable reversal has occurred. France's former African colonies have gained greater economic autonomy and are no longer tethered to French economic support. In fact, France now relies on Africa for vital resources, such as oil and uranium. Consequently, countries like Burkina Faso, a former French colony, can make bold moves like scrapping decades-old tax agreements with France, which allow the European giant to avoid taxes on income generated from activities conducted on Burkina soil. French companies operating in Burkina Faso will now be subject to taxation, as the West African nation can now assert its interests to its advantage, gaining significantly while France risks losing out. France's deteriorating relationship with Africa is also influenced by its failure to effectively counter the information warfare waged across Africa by China and Russia. These global powers have adeptly promoted narratives that emphasize the perceived hypocrisy and ineffectiveness of Western nations, resonating particularly with a new generation of pan-African and anti-imperialist sentiment across the continent. This has facilitated the formation of new alliances and viewpoints among African populations. France and its Western counterparts have struggled to mount a robust response to these narratives, allowing them to gain traction and weaken the credibility of their historical ties with Africa. This informational vacuum has consequently fueled a disconnect between France and Africa, further contributing to strained diplomatic relations. Cultural and social frictions between Africa and France have emerged from the intertwined dynamics of colonial history and contemporary globalization. The influence of the French language, education, and cultural norms has left an indelible mark on many African societies, shaping both positive connections and complexities regarding cultural preservation and identity. These frictions are further exacerbated by issues surrounding migration, as the movement of Africans to France has led to debates over integration, discrimination, and socioeconomic disparities. The collision of cultural values, coupled with the challenges of navigating societal expectations and rights, has contributed to a multifaceted strain on the relationship between the two entities. In conclusion, the intricate web of historical, economic, political, and cultural factors has led to the strained relationship between Africa and France. While rooted in the colonial past, the current tensions reflect the evolving global landscape and changing priorities of both parties. However, the current predicament faced by France should not be underestimated. With a plethora of alternatives available for fostering more equitable and mutually beneficial partnerships, Africa is no longer solely reliant on its historical ties with France. Therefore, it is no surprise that French lawmakers are deeply concerned. On August 7, 2023, nearly 100 of them wrote an open letter to President Emmanuel Macron, criticizing the government's Africa policy. They argued that France risks being marginalized in Africa due to Macron's failed policies on the continent. Senior politicians have petitioned Macron to review his Africa policy to prevent the spread of anti-French sentiment across the continent. However, experts fear that their efforts may be too little too late. This concludes our video on why Africa and France have fallen out. Until next time, goodbye.